Hey there, everybody. This is the Lame Dad here solo, and I'm back with another new band for us to check out. <clears throat> this is Drew's Head, and they come from Misfits Records, so I'm quite excited. I had just checked out a song. You might have seen this already up. If you are watching this by now, I should hopefully have up Osaka Popstar and Drew's Head performing together, doing a... Um, um, my Fugazi cover. Awesome. It was awesome. I want to check out more by Juice Head. And here we are. So I am getting ready here. I'm excited. I do not know what I'm getting into. I was going to check a shorter song out really quick, but, but this cover logo, uh, image here art really pulled me in. So I'm going to pop this up. Why are we being so slow today? And boom, boom, boom. Okay, is this a fear moan? Yeah. Okay, maybe not I approve. Definitely A, but. I love how that bass is coming out. Okay, this is a good chance to stop, yeah. <laughs> Wow, wow, I'm glad I'm checking these out before I check this out with the uh, kids. Not Ira approved on the song. Definitely not. Ava, I'm a lot cooler on music than I would be with a lot of other parents. I listen to this stuff at Ava's age. My mom was a uh, religious fanatic on, you know, music and everything. It was the devil's music, you know, during that big uh, Tipper Gore bullshit era craze. And yes, it was bullshit. So I got this type of music. I was listening to the Misfits, and uh, I was listening to Slayer and those bands. But I hid my albums for my mom. So I rather my kids listen to something I don't mind them listening to and not hide it. And this is Ava approved, and she's going to love this. Content wise, I feel like I'm getting uh, hit with some Misfits meets Mr. Bunghole. Love it, love it. Mr. Bungle is one of my favorite bands coming in uh, the early 90s, and part of it was the fun content and lyrical uh, part of it. I'm loving this. True punk rock music band. Shock value uh, of the Misfits with the lyrics and uh, Mr. Bungle. Loving this. Loving this. Let's go back our 10 seconds and boom, boom, boom. <laughs> I love how they draw that line out. Hey everybody, welcome back to Amalera. I'm so good for missing cool kids uh, behind me. What the hell? Well, let's pause that right here and go back a few seconds because somehow my Osaka pop star finished a lot sooner than it should have. Wow, piss off. And boom, boom, boom. Of course, I was only expecting to do a two minute song. Not a three plus. Glad I'm dead. Nice change of pace. I like that measure change they did bring coming into here. Oh, nice bass rip. Bass player, bass lover.
Oh, I needed this today. Stick with you in your eyes. Nice, 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 wow, Juicehead, when I first typed in Juicehead, I was getting some gaming station, and I was like, what the, f and I'm saying this, your punk fans probably watching this, metal fans, what the fuck is this, you know, this is a band that, you know, performs with Osaka Popstar, and on Misfits uh, uh, Records, because I saw, you know, uh, the 8-minute promo, or the uh, promo from 8 years ago. I was looking through, seeing if I could find something. I'm having Osaka withdrawals. I'm not lying. I'm having some Osaka withdrawals here. And I saw that, and they uh, mentioned, uh, you know, the song we had done prior, the Fugazi cover. And who's this Juice Head? Juice Head, and they're on Misfits Records? Well, you know, Osaka Popster was a major score. I am a fiend. So, you know, I grew up on the Misfits. Yeah, I don't care if it's, you know, Glenn or uh, Mike Graves. I love both. So we're not going to even talk outside of that, you know, uh, for singers. No offense, Jerry, no offense. You're a hero of mine, but Glenn and um, um, Graves are, to me, the, the voice of the Misfits. When I hear the Misfits, those are the voices I hear. Can't help it. That's what I grew up on. That's what you guys got hooked me on for your guys' music. If you ever see this, you probably never will. But if you ever do, it's your fault. You got me hooked on to, you know, uh, Glenn and on Graves. Your guys' fault, not mine. So no offense again, Jerry. I fucking love you, dude. So you you've been, you and Doyle and that have been part of my life uh, for 30 plus years now. This was Misfits 2.0 for me meets uh, Mr. Bungle, and I love Patton, and I love their content lyrics, and this was such a fucking treat, man. Such a treat. I'm putting this up uh, before uh, the Fugazi cover with them and Osaka, with Juice Head and Osaka pop star together. Sorry, guys, I'm so excited. I have just f found two punk bands I love. I love. This is what punk was to me. The cleaning wasn't the most uh, on the guitars. I won't lie. It wasn't the most clean playing. There's a few times to sound like, you know, I was hearing some uh, buzz. So, which would be uh, frets being caught, you know, uh, as changing chords. It sounds like they're catching up right here or there. Punk rock. Fuck, who cares? It's punk rock. The bass of the drums were driving the song. That's what punk is, man. That, that's your energy. That's what punk rock is. And if you don't know punk, get the fuck out of here. No offense. You know, this is the wrong video for you to be on as a punk band. This is not your video. So, if you know you're expecting polish, this is polish for punk. So, loved it. Loved it. Old school freaking feel. Wow. I am doing more Juicehead. Welcome to our channel, Juicehead. Ira may not be exposed to you guys. No offense. Uh, eight years old. He already has fallen in love with uh, Doyle. When I'm mistaken uh, uh, Jerry for him. And now that he knows Jerry only was uh, on stage, I was wondering why Doyle had a bass. Uh, I like... I went back uh, later, and I uh, the next day, later that evening, I watched. I'm like, that had to be Jerry. That and it was Jerry, yeah. So, and it was confirmed to be uh, personally by Osaka Popster. That was Jerry out there. Yeah, I already by that time uh, I already found that out. And now Ira is in love with uh, Jerry and Doyle. Oh God, oh God, my eight year old does not need to be getting into the Misfits just yet. One of my favorite all time punk bands. But oh, guys, we're in trouble here. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Abe is going to love this. Hit the subscribe. She's going to love this. Hit that little bell. Again, Abe is going to love this, and we need to keep Ira away for another year or two, please, because, yeah, he's junior with me, and, yeah. The missing uh, cool kids, the lame dad, peace out. God, Juice had new, new, I, that Osaka pop star, two new favorites. Wow. Hey everybody, uh, as you guessed, we're back here with a second song. I like the first one so much. I wanted to check out a second song to see if I was going to like them after the first one. So I did the same thing with Old Pop or Soccer Pop Star, and I absolutely love that band. And because of them, I have stumbled on uh, Juice Head here. And instead of doing another song from the same album, I thought, how about uh, when I saw in the suggested that there was another album I could choose from? 
Why not do better days? That was the uh, next song select, uh, suggested, just like Lorraine here's uh, suggested. So I said, hell with it. Let's check this out. You know, we're going to check this one out. So I've been waiting here for about an hour. So holding off, debating if I wanted to do a second song in the same React or add to this React because they are both uh, short songs and the uh, first React will be roughly about eight minutes. And I thought I want to give you guys a little more content for a first time band that I really dug the first song. So we're going to go off of their uh, page. These guys come from uh, Misfits Records. This is the same label that Osaka Popstar is on. And as you know, we are digging that band hardcore uh, right now, Dave or Ava and I, and I needed my fix and let me hear. So I'm going to be going uh, tomorrow and I'm going to be going to their uh, YouTube page for uh, Misfits uh, rec uh, Records. And I'm going to see what other hidden gems are out there. If I like this one, I'm going out to see what other hidden gem bands are out there that I'm going to be able to find. So I already liked the first song enough that I gave it a subscribe and follow because I want to see more. Am I going to give this a thumbs up by the end of it? Let's pop this up and find out. And some no, reason my computer is just lagging popping that up today. Boom, boom, boom. I like just the one note per uh, measure. There we go. If you crack my neck, you know you're relaxing me. I'm going to pause right, yeah, a minute in. I've already got my formulation. Like this song, I'm trying to place who they kind of remind me of the song. This song reminds me, I think it reminds me of an earlier Rancid vocally, the sound of the vocalist's voice. And that's actually a good thing because I love Rancid, seen them on several occasions, and I love all three of them when they sing. They've got, you know, each a great distinctive voice I enjoy. This is kind of remind me of a mix between the uh, guitar player and the bassist from Rancid's uh, voice. So I'm really liking it. I'm digging it. I'm digging this straight up again punk vibe. This one's a little less uh, towards the uh, Misfits way uh, on the first song, which I really love the last song uh, for that feel. And I like that this song here has more of towards a 90s turn uh, with more of your lag wagons and uh, no effects and, uh, you know, no use for a name in that, uh, you know, uh, genre of punk rock. It has that kind of just on the verge of crossing right over right now, but that's just crossing over right now. It might change. It might, uh, you know, give me something different uh, as we're going on. Let's Let's go boom boom boom. I like that. It's a very nice uh, rest in between. A tempo change. Or not a tempo change measure. A lot more of this band coming. Ah, oh, nice little fill there. Nice little, uh, nice. I want to pick up my guitar and just play right now. And my baby's right here. I was playing it not too long ago. Oh, I knew this was going to end up too short. It's only 2 minutes and 18 seconds. God, I needed a longer one. Oh, they're not going to slow it down. They're just going to finish it off strong. The last few bars are going to go. Yeah, straight out strong, just like they came right in. 
straight out strong, just like they came in first bar of measure, and then the last uh, bars of measure is coming straight out. Nice, guys, nice. Simple, again, simple, straight up punk rock song. Nothing fancy, nothing that's going to blow your mind out. What punk rock should be catchy, so easy, makes you get into it right away, and makes you feel good and want to, you know, just get your body going and when i struggle like this that's my neck starting to relax i got uh some tendon issues here from uh sports and other stuff and when my uh, uh i start relaxing like that my neck wants to crack you know you're scoring big because that's my body saying oh yeah the stress is just relieving this band and osaka pop star misfit records you guys have got two good artists under your uh, catalog right now I need to go out and check to see who else you guys got there and in gems. Because right now, I'm feeling... My my opinion on the two songs here on this album, I get a very East Coast, uh, earlier school punk vibe. So even with this song having more of a uh, 90s feel to it, it's still that New York East Coast punk vibe that I first start growing up... Uh, with, and I was in the East Coast and the uh, West Coast punk scene, you know, I, I loved, uh, you know, the uh, Fullerton and uh, Orange County punk uh, scene uh, way before the Offspring. I'm talking, you know, the bands coming out of the uh, 70s and 80s that I got into after they were long dead and gone, or other, you know, I actually some were dead, but I mean, as in no longer uh, formed bands, you know, some of these bands were no longer around, like the Dead Kennedys, that. And then I was getting into, you know, coming out of New Jersey, uh, the Misfits. So, and I got into the Misfits uh, once Michael Graves uh, was the uh, singer, but I was very exposed early uh, into my Misfits journey. So, to uh, the uh, Glad Danzig era. So, I grew to love both of those two just equally in the Misfits era. And then I loved the Ramones and some of these other guys. And here we got two bands that are giving me this flavor of the punk rock that I've loved from that New York scene that I just thought the 90s really lost and didn't really get picked up again into the 90s at all, a band here and there. And then I find Osaka Popstar, totally different feel and flavor of sound. And then I find uh, Juicehead here, and again, you know, it, it gives me that uh, melt, you know, finally, punk rock. Where was I under the bus? Like, why didn't I, I, I start looking for good punk rock on YouTube sooner? Like, thank you so much, guys, for providing us with some good music here. Wow, wow, wow. I, I, I have faith restored in punk. And I have a feeling this is going to be uh, one of the first songs uh, I wanted to try to show Ira. Because I think Ira is going to really dig this one. I think uh, Ava here is going to be more towards the Osaka pop star flavor of uh, sound. So that's what she's liking right now for her, uh, what she's getting into. So I think we've got a, a two camp here and punk rock is going to be staying alive for a few more generations, guys. Because my kids are in the next wave of uh, generation for punk rock. So this is the uh, missing, if you like the video, make sure you give us a thumbs up. <clears throat> it always helps. You guys all know that. Make sure you give us a uh, subscribe on the bottom if you haven't already. Ring that little bell. Get a notification every time we upload. And if you love this song as much as I did and you enjoyed it, make sure you go down here and hit that subscribe on their channel. Make sure you hit that bell for their notifications. And make sure you do what I just did and do a thumbs up. So, because this band, two songs in, is definitely well worth following, getting notifications for, and giving a thumbs up. I don't easily give a thumbs up to a video, even if I only liked it. And it's not, you know, the band's channel. I skip it if the, it's the band's channel. I support that band. If I liked it, I give the thumbs up. They get the thumbs up. So until then, the missing uh, cool kids who are at their mom's place, the lame dad going solo this week, and peace out.